Bryson here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make some super easy card tricks that you can definitely do at home like one of the videos like immediately done except for a couple of them. So first you'll give your deck shuffle and you can give it a cut. This is just how I do it. Okay, so now you can do it another shuffle. So now, since you have your deck all shuffled up, you would riffle down through the deck and your spectator would tell you when to stop. Say they said stop. It does not matter where they stop, so I'm going to show this card to you that it is the two of diamonds, or the two of hearts, sorry. Um, and then you would make it look like you're putting it randomly into the deck when you're actually doing this. Holding the card up like this so that it looks like you're putting it into the deck randomly when it's actually the second from the top card. Then you'll refer down two cards and get a pinky break. Also, I also use my middle and ring finger. Also my pinky so that it's tight. And then you grab about the top half of the deck. And so that you know the second from top card is their card. Two hearts. You can let go of this and give the deck a shuffle as long as you take make sure the top two cards are still going to be the same it doesn't really matter or false cut if you know how to do that um so then you get the pinky break again after you got the pinky break you take the top half and then you explain this thing it's called the lie detector trick you flip over cards and you ask them to say that's it to every card even if it's not the card so then you just say and you know that the second from top card is their card the two of hearts then they'll say that's it and you tell by the tone of their voice if it's their card or not and just be like Mm, no, that I don't think that was it. So then you put your hand over it. Don't let go of your pinky break, and then you put it down. Then you know that this is their card, but you act like you don't. And then they'll be like, "That's it." And you'll be like, mm, "No." And then you let go of the pinky break, and then you put the pinky break card down instead. And then flip over the top card and they'll say that's it and you'll say no I don't think that was it and then you'll put the deck over it doing nothing and put it back down so that they think that the middle card is going to be their card but it's not and then you put these back up here and take two cards instead of one and slam them together to show them that the top card is their card when you know that this is not their card card behind it is so that it looks like they think the top card isn't when it actually is then you'll say which one of these do you think your card is since they think that the top card is in your card we'll say the middle and it's not their card it's going to be for us for for me it's the ace of clubs so they'll be like no it was that one actually no that one so you see that none of these were their card it was actually the two of hearts. Then when you flip over the top card, we'll be amazed that it was the two of hearts. And that was the trick. Then you preferably shuffle the deck again. Then this is a super short trick. So I'm gonna do the tutorial after I show you the trick. So I'm shuffling the deck again. And you can give it a cut if that's how if that's what you want to do. And 
Okay, so now you will put down cards and tell your spectator to stop. And they'd say, eventually they will say, stop, say what they said, stop now. Here. So say this was the card, the Six of Diamonds. Then you just put these cards back in. And then, so since I'm just showing you the beginning part, you would just put down cards. And then you would do this. You would put the, they would, they memorize the card, right? Here, I'm going to have to hold it here for you. Okay. So now it's being held. Okay, so after they memorize it, you put it into the deck. And then you flip the deck upside down. And then one card, one card only is different. And that happens to be the Six of Diamonds. And now for the tutorial. So preferably you just shuffle the deck again or give the spectator the deck and they can shuffle it once. Okay, so after they've shuffled the deck, a lot of times you can ask them to hand you back the deck and they'll hand it back to you. And then you just put down cards and they'll eventually say, stop. Then they have memorized this card. Now, while they're memorizing that card, in this case, it's the Ace of Clubs, you will flip the deck over and flip the top card upside down. So the top is the same as the bottom. See? So then you would make sure that the bottom cards are the same. Just in this case, right now, since hopefully there's no one with you so they can't figure it out. Then you would go to make sure that that's the top. Then after they've... So you do that really quickly, like this. So that when, they won't have time to memorize their card while you're doing that. So after they've memorized their card, they'll put, you say put it randomly into the deck. They'll put it like anywhere into the deck. Then you'd make it look like you're flipping the deck over while you're actually doing this. So it looks like, but you're, you'll be doing it fast like this. So after you've got that, you just show them the cards and that one of the cards is different. And that card's going to be the Ace of Clubs. Yep. That's just this really cool, amazing, awesome trick. Now for the next trick, you shuffle your deck. Just quickly give your sh deck a shuffle. You can shuffle it however, as many times as you want. Preferably, again, give it to the spectator for them to shuffle it for as long as whatever, however they want. Just give it to them to shuffle. Oh, and by the way, this is my first card trick video, so don't be surprised if, if it's not very good. I'm not expecting it to get a lot of hits, but just please do subscribe. Give the video a like. And I'm going to tell you other things at the end that you should definitely do. And so then this and other stuff like that. And well, So this trick, you need exactly 21 cards. No more, no less. So you just count 21. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So then you should just make sure it's 21 cards. Just count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 21. So this has exactly 21 cards. So then you would just go like this as the spectator. So put I'll put these back as the spectator. Tell ask them to tell them ask me when to stop tell me when to stop so say they said stop you would take the top card uh the bottom card of this deck 
and give it to them to memorize. Then you would put these back up here. And they would memorize it. In this case, it's the two spades. Then you put it randomly into the deck. And then you put down three piles. And then when you're done, you ask which pile is your card in. Right now it's in this one. Okay, so now that all the piles are down, you see that their card is the second in this pile. So you keep it there. And then you take any other pile, any pile that makes sure it doesn't have their card in. Ask the spectator which pile their card is in. They say this one. Take this pile, put it up there, onto the pile with their card. Then take the other one. Then do the same thing. Right now it's in this pile. You can see because it's the top card right now. You can tell because it's the top card. And you just keep doing that. Then you pick it up like you're going to do it again. Do the same thing. Pick up a random pile. Then the pile with their card. And then a random pile. Then you put down cards like you were doing it again. But in your head, you're counting. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Every time the eleventh card will be their card. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I did not check, I swear. But now I know that this card is the two spades. Two spades, their card. That's just so amazing awesome thanks for watching give the video a thumbs up subscribe please and and then check out a million card tricks channel he's awesome i got the first video from his channel directly and please subscribe we'll have a, more card trick videos i'll teach you and they will be shorter possibly so those are just three awesome amazing super cool card tricks that you can definitely to do to your parents your siblings anybody it works way better if you're borrowing a deck thank you